What's up, people? This is your boy, K Solo. What's the deal? Yeah, man, you know, kind of a little upset. Just a little. I was supposed to get called today to tell me, you know, if I was going to go to work today. And nobody has called me. So that means definitely Solo's not working today. That's okay. Fuck it. As long as they call me tomorrow, or uh, ho hopefully not Saturday, because I really don't want to go to work Saturday, man. I, you know, I don't, I don't. You know, I hope they don't call me. But uh, tomorrow, definitely, I wouldn't mind. So anyway, guys, listen. I'm walking right now. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, but this is the pleasure. taking this walk and it's the pleasure of living around the area and now I live a little closer to this area right here I'm almost by my, the, where, where I live at now but almost around here I ain't gonna show you guys where I live at until, <laughs> you know what I'm saying I did that mistake. But uh, anyway, this is uh this place right here, man. This place right here, bro. I remember this place when I was two years old. I swear to everything I love. I used to come here every, every Easter. No, yo, clockwise, every Easter. This is that the beautiful area in the Bronx, man. This is the Bronx right here, bro. This is this is a beautiful part in the Bronx. Quiet, mixed crowd, white, black, Spanish, Puerto Rican, Dominicans, Mexicans, Italian, German, um, Jewish. Man, you got everything over here. Everything. I call this the walk. This is the place where I'll be telling you a lot of you guys should be coming to should come every now and then, at least once a year. At least once a year, I, I say you guys should come here, man. At least once a year. Excuse me. See this water right here? This, this place right here, the father comes every morning before they open up. He come and he blesses the site. I'm talking low because, you know, it's respectful. This is my, my this is my favorite right up there. Right up there. In the name of the Father, Santo, Amen. Beautiful. Well, I'm coming back over here. I'm coming back over here, but I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Usually for you guys to, to not miss this, you gotta come early in the morning. Early, somewhere like about, I believe, from nine all the way until, I'm not sure if it's two o'clock. From nine to two, I think it is. This part right here. I love coming over here once in the blue moon, you know what I'm saying? At least coming here at least once a month. Maybe once every two months. Yeah, once every two months, once a month. Sometimes I, fall, I be like falling back and I come like once every five, six months. I call this the walk, the walk. You see, it starts from right here, it's closed. Like I said, you could catch this every year. From nine to two. Now you see that 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 middle part right there. That used to be a, a, a fountain, real big fountain, beautiful big fountain. And you know a lot of people used to throw coins in there and stuff like that. This is like early seventies, man. I remember coming over here like 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Um, stopped coming over here when my grandfather went to uh, Puerto Rico. That was like in. Um, 79 I believe my grandfather went to Puerto Rico and then after that you know 
started we, we started falling back and um my mom was still coming over here with my sisters and stuff like that well, like at least once every few months my mom used to come over here and pick up some of the water from where i just showed you guys just now but when you walk in over here i want to show you i'm going you see those stairs those stairs right there guys when you walk up those stairs you're gonna walk to the walk that right here there's a tunnel you can't see it now it's like a little, like a, like a, like a man-made tunnel. It's right there. You can see it right there with the, with the, uh, let me see. Right there. See that little thing right there? That's like a, like a, like a little tunnel and stuff like that. That's where baby Jesus was born. You know, they show him sometimes in the Christmas trees and stuff like that. Baby Jesus was born. You see him with, uh, with Mary and Joseph, I believe. And then when you when you walk up the stairs, da 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 da, you see Jesus, you know, like a teenager, I believe, or or when he's a child. Then you walk up a little bit more, you see him as a man. Then you walk up a little bit more, you see him like holding the cross. You know, it takes you all the way from when he was a baby all the way to they walk him and they and they bury him right there. That's what they so called bury him at. In that little opening right there as you see it. That's where they, so, you know, they, they walk into the walk and then they show you where they bury them at. That's supposed to be the tunnel where they bury him at, you already know. You know, but this right here, man, I recommend anybody to come over here and check this out. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this is one, of, like I said, one of the pleasures living in the Bronx. The Bronx is very religious, no question about that. And this is area right here. It's a beautiful area, man. I mean, the rent over here is kind of high for the Bronx. But it's a nice area, it's, it's well protected. I mean, like I said, you got a lot of white people that live around here. And you know, whenever you got white people, you got police, <laughs> you feeling me? So, you know, that's the, like I said, it's the, one of the beauties from living here. And thank God I've been living around here since 2004. I've been coming over here since the seventies. Since I was, like I said, since I was two years old. You know, this is the place where my mom used to bring me at every time and stuff like that when I was a kid. Sometimes I used to hate coming over here. I'm not gonna lie, I used to hate coming over here. You see, look at that area, beautiful. Beautiful area, private school right there. I believe that's a Catholic school right there. Yeah, definitely, definitely beautiful. Beautiful area, this project right here, you see these like a little projects? I don't think it's a project, I think there's condominiums right here. I believe so, I really believe so. And the more down you go, the better it looks, man. I'm serious. So you already know, man. So you already know, man. This is the place where I like to come sit down for a few minutes and just, you know, you know, just parlay, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and think about the, think about the bad things that's going on in this world. and. Um, Pray, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I pray. You know, sometimes I tell you guys that uh, I I don't believe in the, in the in the in the church and stuff like that, but I do believe this is a sacred place where people come to to pray and to believe. So you know, I'm like, I can you say, man? If you want to call me uh, Catholic slash other kind of belief. Well, call me that. You know, I believe Jesus Christ was a man that was preaching, you know, preaching good stuff and stuff like that. He was, he was a good man. And and the kings, the Romans, whatever, they, they did not like him. And send, they sent the Jews to kill him. You know? I believe, I believe it was that, right? The... Uh, the Romans send the, the the Jews to kill him. His own people killed him. You know, they say Jesus Christ was Jewish. See, that's another something that I, you know, it's it's big, man. It's a lot of things that they don't they don't explain. You know, like they said Jesus Christ. There's something right now that said that Jesus Christ's foot was the color of copper. He had the hair of wool. If you look at the hair wool, that's black man's hair. The foot of copper, foot of the color of copper, that's brown skin, you know, Arab, uh, medium, um, how you say, middle, middle Eastern, you know what I'm saying, looking. 
you know, like I said, you know, there's a lot of things that, that the Bible says and, and, you know, it's hard to believe, you know, about Jesus Christ being white with the picture. And I believe that was the Spaniards that did that. Spaniards did that, you know. You think about it, there's a lot of Spaniards that got blue eyes, green eyes, you know, long hair like that. That was the way back in the days. Back in that time, long hair, beard, mustache, beard, you know. But anyway, this is where I come at and chill, man. This is where I come at and chill and, 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 and just think of my thoughts, man. Think of go into my thoughts and think about what's going on in the world or think about what I'm going through, you know. The most important is beautiful because you can hear the birds. I believe different kind of birds come here, man. I believe that they have, we, have, we have a lot of different kind of birds. Damn Bronx, baby. Beautiful area, right? Yeah. It is. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy that I, used to, that I used to come here for years. Especially that statue is beautiful. That's a beautiful statue. And it's old too. That statue been here, man, for years. That statue been here for years. For real, that, that statue been there for years, yo. Crazy years. Look at that. That shit like, like almost, I believe that that statue is like about five ten. Like by five ten, that's that you gotta be. I wonder if they go and then they clean it. You already know, man. You got my birds. So there's a lot of um, um, bird feces all over there. I'm pretty sure they probably clean that at least once a year. They have to. Crazy baby chicks that came from that tunnel. Cause there's a, there's a, how you call it, like a net. There's a net tied up right up, right in that area. There's a net tied up up in, in, the, in the top. There's a net. And there's mad birds that go over there. And um, you already know. And they have nests there. They, they, they be doing their whole nest. If it's not there, it's in the top. Or they see all the green in the top, all the way to the top. The birds be up there too, you know, nesting. So, yeah, you can say there's a lot of, lot of birds come over here. A lot of different birds, too. Remember, this area around here, man, we got, we got skunks over here, man. This area over here, we got skunks. Um, at one time, I heard, well, more down, more down. I mean, like about 10, 20 more blocks down. Like going somewhere like downstate. Like going to that area, but not not all the way up, you know, not not upstate, downstate. Um, like I said, a couple couple miles, man. I see like maybe ten miles, if I'm not mistaken, ten miles down. Uh, there was a wolf, and um, it, I don't think. It, I, as a matter of fact, it was in um, Yonkers. It was in Yonkers. I, yeah, in Yonkers, a fucking wolf, a wolf, b. So you know. Jersey, they got bears. And I'm pretty sure somewhere upstate got bears too, if I'm not mistaken, upstate got bears. If anybody know about that upstate having bears, let me know. Definitely, that's something I always want to know. I, I know I, I know in Jersey, they got black bears. A lot of black bears in Jersey. Crazy black bears over there. Brown bears, I don't think so. I know in California, they have mad brown bears. Crazy brown bears, California. Um, I don't think in Arizona. That's that's no trees over there. Bears like trees and stuff like that. Uh, 
I don't know. I wonder if upstate. I know Maine got bears. Maine. Maine definitely got bears. Buffalo? Well, Buffalo's part of New York State, so I don't know. I wouldn't mind living there, man. I live straight up this way, guys. I'm not gonna show you what building, whatever, what little house, but I live straight up this way. Beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, let me get out of here. Let me shut this down. There's your boy K Soul. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the Boogie Down Bronx, the quiet area, the good area. I mean, well, I call it the good area because, you know, everywhere there's violence, no question about that. But this area over here, man, I gotta say, it's nothing like, let's say, Creston, Wharton, Belmont, Hughes, um, Katona, um, Hunts Point. This area, like, is more like, how can, I, how can you say it? Like, more middle, middle class, college, uh, school teachers and police officers live around this area. But like I said, if you want to go to the crazy side, you just walk up straight down and take the the highway. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? And then you get to the nitty gritty. You get to the Grand Concourse, Southern Boulevard, Tremont. You get all that area. That's the wild, wild west over there. <laughs> Definitely the wild, wild west of the Bronx. Anyway, guys, let me let you go. This is your boy, K Solo. Let me get ready to go home. Let me go get some more of that water. Drink some more of that water. I remember this right here, right? Many years ago, like I said, I've been coming here for years, right? They didn't have these gates. They didn't have these gates right here. They did not have, this was open. And they didn't have the benches either. The benches where I was just sitting at right now, they didn't have those benches either. This was open, but they had to close it down in the 80s. Like, I think, I believe like in 85, they started closing this area down because... You had drug users. And this is like when the crack first came out and stuff like that. You had drug, drug users, they used to come over here. And they used to, yo, have amazing ways. This right here wasn't there either. This right here wasn't there. So all this right here used to have money. All this evidence right here used to have money. Right here, all this right here, man, no lie. This right here had money. All this was open. But people, you see this right here, you don't know how many times that got broken then. But people started coming over here People started coming over here and they was robbing the place. And, and you know, that, that people that was on drugs was coming over here and were doing some mad, bad things. So after the couple of years, they put in the gate. And that's, I believe that's the best thing that's ever happened, putting in the gate. One day, guys, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the inside. But uh, then they put in these benches, you see? They put in the benches. But um, yeah, they, 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 they used to not be no gates over here. They used to not be no gate. This place had no gate at one time in the 70s. I'm talking about early 70s, all the way to, I believe, 85. Well, let me turn this shit off, man. <laughs> let me turn this off, all right? So uh, you already know, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. Like I said, this is the Boogie Down Bronx. You know, quiet area. You know, the Bronx is not what everybody says. It's crazy. It's, it's lunatic. Uh, people, you know what I'm saying? You can't walk through the Bronx, blah, 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 blah. Listen. There's some areas, man, that you could, and you're gonna be okay. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not saying that 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 crime doesn't happen in this areas. Cause if I tell you that, shit, I'm, a, I'm You know, we already know I'm a damn liar. So you know, like I said, guys, you gotta come through here, man. We'll take the walk. Take the walk, man. You know, you can sit right here too, enjoy it a little better too. Yeah, I like coming over and sitting down right here. See. Listen, what I'm talking about. Look, the tunnel. But well, I really don't know who's in here. 
I gotta find out who's in here. Wow, I never noticed it. Never noticed there was a tunnel there. Like, I know Jesus is not there. Wait a minute, I can't see it now. Right here. Right there. I don't know who's in there. Wow, I gotta find out who they got in there. So, we come over here, you see? All right, let me let you guys go. This is your boy, K-Solo. You already know, man. See you guys later. Bye.